Welcome Catamount football fans. Thank you for joining us for the 2020 preseason show. We've got a good show for you today. My name is Joel Goldberg. I'm the president of the quarterback club this year and I uh, would like to invite you to join uh, the Dalton football program, become a member. Uh, you can go to daltonfootball.com. You can click on uh, a PDF form and download it, print it, fill it out, send it in with a check. Uh, or you can actually uh, join online, fill out your form online, you can pay online, uh, which is very easy to do. You go through a few steps, and uh, we'd love to have you join and be part of the program this year, support our boys. And uh, you know, every dollar that we uh, collect, that we bring in, goes to support the whole program. So stick around, we're gonna have Coach Land for an interview and some other coaches as well. We're gonna have player introductions, and we'll do a little video uh, of preseason games and uh, other items like that. Thank you for joining us, Catamount fans, for the 2020 preseason football show. Got Coach Land with us, and uh, Coach Land, just want to talk to you, uh, ask you a few questions about the season sure. and what we have. But before we really get going, I, I know it's been a strange year. All football coaches have had a strange year. The whole world's had a strange year with COVID-19. Yeah. Tell us about the challenges and what you've done to try to overcome overcome those challenges. Well, you know, the, the, the first challenge is really just being distant. You know, we went from March 13th till really June the 8th, uh, not really able to be with our kids. You know, you might see them out driving down the road or something, but you really didn't get to spend any time. But obviously, we're like everybody else. We spend a lot of time on Zoom calls, spend a lot of time texting, a lot of time FaceTiming uh, all of our coaches. We tried to at least touch, reach out and touch our kids either through, you know, some sort of media uh, or something like that, you know, at least two to three times a week uh, and then they had at least position meetings and sometimes you had a full unit meeting uh, and we kind of did that but then you know you've you've God, you've, you've done it all. You've looked at it all. So at some point it had to be physical. And so June the 8th we get out, we're able to get in the weight room and at that point we're still limited the numbers and, and the state, you know, I, I should take a moment and say that I think the GHSA has done an outstanding job of, of giving us as much as they could based on the data that they've had. Uh, and so, like I said, those guys came out, we worked, we've had a good spring, uh, if you want to call it that, okay. <laughs> and we did have spring practice, uh, and then we had summer going into June, and then we had our break. And, you know, coming out of the break, the real question was, okay, now you get to put a ball with it. Now you're going to get to wear helmets. Now what do you do? And so those guys, I, I'm so proud of them. They've upped it. They've come out. We've conditioned. We've kind of gotten acclimated now, finishing that up right now. And Saturday we're going to be full pads. And that's when we find out, you know, what kind of team we have. You know this. We've talked a lot. X and O can do a lot. Jimmy and Joe can't. But Jimmy and Joe can do a lot of things X and O can. So we've got to go figure out what that is. And so we're excited for Saturday. And then, of course, working up to our two scrimmages with Darlington and Carterville. Yeah, thank you, Coach. Coach Land, I know that um, you know we've we've done some bouncing around in uh, the A's, the qualify <laughs> the regions that we're in. Yeah. Take us back to 10 years ago, 11 years <laughs> ago, when you first uh, became head coach of the football team. What classification we're in, what region right. we're in, and where we are now, because I know 2020 right. we have a new region that we're in. Yeah, 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 you know, that that's the one thing is we play a little bit of the shell game, you know, just to try to keep us, you know, uh, alert and all those things. Well, when I go, 2010, to go back that far, when I was hired, we were 3A. Spent a year in 3A, then we went a couple of years in 4A, then we had four, eight, four years in 5A, and then boom, we're up to four years in 6A. And so we're still there in 6A. So we've kind of traveled through. Uh, in that meantime, you know, we, we left our local region. Uh, and we hated that because, you know, you love playing your local teams. Yeah. You love the rivalries. You love all that. But, you know, the other good thing about it is, is we talk about this all the time, if you're really going to say you'll play anybody anywhere, then you got to be willing to play anybody anywhere. Yeah. So then we got moved up into 4A, into 5A. And the great thing about going into 5A is it allowed us to really begin to kind of take what we think about ourselves as a team, how we prepare, and say, okay, this worked at 3A. It worked at 4A. Will it work at 5A? Will it work at 6A? So we started in that progression. And you know, I don't know that we coach different, Joel. I don't know that we coach different. I think what happens is the urgency changes a little bit. Certainly the competition changes. You know, this year we're going to play 15 of the top 100 players in the state are going to be in our region. Last year, three of the top four teams came out of our region. It's and phenomenal. Yeah, you know, it is. And two plays for the state championship, one win. So we've not only got to go up, 
we've played in the toughest region every year. So that has really prepared our guys. I, I use this example a lot with our coaches that come through recruiting, and we're going to have somewhere between 15 to 25 to 30 a week that will come through this year. And they're coming through because they're seeing our kids play, not only on this field, but in these regions and playing on ESPN on Thursday night and these kind of things. So when they come in, I tell them, I'm like, listen, hey, the great thing about Dawn, a lot of things change. Demographics change, social economics change, school size change. We go that expectations don't change. Yeah. If you're going to be a catamount, the expectation stays the same. It's not just to compete. It's to win a region championship. It's to be 10-0. It's to be as deep in the playoffs as we can get. I'm proud of our coaches. They've stepped up and really kind of accepted that it's it, we got we got to coach a little bit different and we got to do it a little bit a little bit longer than we had to do it. I love the way our players have attacked it. You know, this year we've got a different region that's come in now, uh, still in 6A, but now they've moved moved us to another region. I think you're going to ask me in just a second about the schedule, but boy, how it lines up is amazing. But these guys just keep working. Players just keep working. Mom and dads keep traveling. We're the best travel team in 6A probably because we go and everybody loves when they, everybody loves for us to come to them. We just don't get a lot to come here. So we would invite you to come out. We'll have some room here Absolutely. when we're playing some of these teams. Yeah. Coach Land, I'm excited about the 2020 schedule we have. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, some of the old rivalries that we were starting to develop, now they're gone. We'll, we'll develop some new ones. But That's I'm right. really excited about Calhoun being back on the schedule. Absolutely. Uh, Calhoun's always extremely competitive, well-coached football team. Uh, I, I love mingling with their crowd, sure. and, and it's just that's like the the atmosphere is phenomenal. Yeah, but game. besides that game, or even that game, what are your thoughts on the 2020 season schedule? Well, it really sets up good for us uh, from the standpoint of the competition standpoint. We, we're going to go right up until uh, our scrimmages. We're going to start off at Darlington, then we're going to come home for Cartersville. That's our two scrimmages. That's pretty yeah. stout. Yeah. So you start with those guys. You find out find out real quick where you stand as a football team. Then we have Calhoun at home, and then we go to Ridgeland. Excited about those games. Those are two local good competition games. We've had some local teams that have played us the last couple of years, but we're excited to get this competition back and really kind of check us. Now, that right there is four pretty doggone good teams. That's a, that in and of itself is pretty strong. But then we will hit two bye weeks. As you can imagine, the season is somewhat fluid. Uh, we're waiting to hear about a Tennessee school that, was, that we may be able to play. So we may have a game in this two-week buy that we have coming up. If not, we're only going to have nine games, but the point is it gives us the time to get rested and get ready to go yeah. because then, bam, you go to Carrollton. You're at South Paulding. You've got Rome here. Then you go to Alexander. Wow. I mean, that we've played playoff runs and not had four great teams like that. Then we'll have a bye, and then we've got our last two. We have Douglas County, Paulding County, and then East Paulding. So if you just look at that kind of in those three chunks, that's – we got our we got our work cut out for us. That's so going through the gauntlet. That's going through the gauntlet. We're going to find out what kind of team we're going to be. You know, I think the real thing that we kind of look at when you look at this season is you got to say to yourself, how healthy can we stay? Yeah. Because those are fit. There's top to bottom. That may be one of the most physical seasons that we've ever had. Number two, and I think with the question that's on everybody's minds, especially it's on the watching that TV, how does COVID affect us? Mm. You lose two or three or four or five kids in the middle of the season because somebody's at grandma's house or somebody's at a Fortnite tournament or whatever, you know, <laughs> and they get it eating Takis with somebody, you know. So we don't know. So we've got to – I think this year, I told our coaches we're preparing for this, we will play more people this year yeah. than we probably ever had, and it's going to be because of necessity. So that number two player – we talk about it, that you're one play away. Well, you may be just one day away because somebody may be in the wrong place. And it, I think even the threes have got to be ready this year. So we want to invite everybody to come out. You're going to see some great competition. I think you're going to see the Cats play well. And like I said, big thing is let's get out and enjoy being outside and not being stuck inside quarantined. Yep. Well, Coach Land, thanks for being with us. Absolutely. Wish you great success this year. Hope everybody stays healthy. And uh, that includes you guys out there in Catamount Land. Absolutely. Stay, stay healthy. Thank you for joining us. Go Big Red. Welcome back. And now we're with Coach Martinez. And Coach Martinez, as we've talked with other coaches and players, we know that it's been a difficult uh, year to, to prepare with COVID-19 and, and just all these other challenges. How has that impacted uh, your preparation and the kids' preparation? You know, that's right, uh, Joel. What we usually do back in March and in April, uh, it's already done. And here we are in, in, you know, in July having to just now get things out, having to be able to touch a football. And so with that, you know, over – I think we did a great job. Coach Lane did a great job with us. Uh, 
making in, uh, getting in touch with our kids, making sure they're doing things at home that they can help be being safe for one, and then being able to kind of implement what we need to be done up to this point. And they, I say they've done a great job of getting ready, being prepared, and I think that's all you can do at this point and in, in moment in time because we don't know. And and that's one of the things that I tell the kids every day is. Man, you got to practice like it, it's your last because it could very well be. Yeah. yeah, no doubt. Thank you for that. Well, how, how have you as a coach, because that you, we just talked about how a players are right. preparing, how have you been able to prepare for your new role uh, or additional roles that you, that you sure. have and so forth? I think for us, you know, one of the things that we were all able to get to is to network with other coaches, um, kind of see what we were going to run. And uh, we were able to reach out to some different coaches on our own and as well with Coach Lamb making contact with some different people with us and just talk football. And it was a good time. Um, I know that's what I did individually. Uh, I, I read about three books that I, that I enjoyed that I, that I had on my shelf that I hadn't got to. And um, being able to implement that in, in our program is one of the great things. But, you know, learning, talking to other coaches was probably one of the main things. And then, of course, you know, we, we just missed the players. And uh, but it was an enjoyable time to really get to watch our kids and, and even be with our families, making sure they're safe as well. So I really enjoyed that time with them as well. That's good. good. Okay, Coach Martinez, tell me about some of the playmakers that you have on offense this year: receivers, uh, uh, running backs, so forth. Right. So well, as you know, I've got moved to receivers this year uh, from my long term at running backs uh, due to the fact there's there's more of them, and uh, we had. Uh, Right now, just like we have in the past, if you're a receiver, you can play running back, running backs are receivers. And one of the things that you know lost last year's graduating class is our offensive line, and, and that was a thing that everybody worried about. But you know, so far they've done such a great job of picking up on our scheme of what we're doing. Of course, Ashton Blackwell's glad you saw him last year uh, coming in and filling in, and now he's taking the lead role. Parker Adams is going to be helping him out. Receiver crew, it's the same guys. So it's the same guys in the perimeter that you saw last year. With some of our new uh, sophomores coming in, trinkling in, you're going to see Warner Ross play a multiple um, sets in the slot receiver, running back, and quarterback with that. So as we continue to, to develop what we're going to do for, this, for the, for the uh, upcoming season, Coach Land has really felt put a good depth chart together. And we're using some crossover guys as well. So that's something we have to do just because it's Someone does get sick. We got to be prepared Absolutely. to put the next guy up. Yeah, and of course, with the the loss of Jameer Gibbs uh, going on to Georgia Tech and hopefully having a great career there, uh, there's a lot, some big shoes to fill there. So. Uh, yeah, we'll see how that sure, works out. Sure, you know, there are big shoes to fill, but Maurice Howard is, is wearing number one in honor of Jameer. And one of the things that's great about it is, you know, he's his own specimen. He does things that Jameer couldn't do. He's a lot uh, heavier than Jameer was. But the one thing about it is nobody's going to want to tackle that kid. Uh, he's that big, and he brings to the table his own um, – a repertoire of plays himself and along with two other sophomores coming up so we're really excited about those guys well coach thanks for being with us Appreciate wish it. you much success this year awesome go be great thanks again Catamount fans for joining us for the 2020 preseason show uh, we hope you're able to come out and watch uh, football with us this year thank you for all the support we ask that you go to donkfootball.com register if you haven't done so uh, and we look for uh, a, just a great football season and stay safe Matt Land, head coach, 28th year. Jim Bennett, defensive line, this will be 45. Kit Carpenter, defensive coordinator, 19. Adam Martinez, offensive coordinator, 17. Scott Thompson, head strength coach, 25 years. Bill Mayo, offensive line, 33 years. Cole Bennett, offensive line, tight ends, 12th year. Jamie Penny, linebackers, fourth year. Eric Long, quarterbacks, second year. Ethan Marlowe, running backs, sixth year. John Patrick, head freshman coach, 25th year. Jamie Johnson, freshman defensive coordinator, 12th year. Bo Blackwood, freshman coach, 4th year. Gabe Major Kurth, freshman skill, 3rd year. 
Jason Poteet, head middle school coach, 14th year. Santiago Nava, offense analyst, fifth year. Maurice Howard, running back, senior. Fuller Vineyard, DB, senior. Parker Adams, athlete, senior. Satan Benton, DB, senior. Mauricio Quintero, linebacker, senior. Adrian Hernandez, DB, senior. Edder Valencia, DB, senior. Tyson Neal, defensive end, senior. Caleb Hernandez, outside linebacker, senior. Sue Lopez, linebacker, senior. Dominic Simpson, linebacker, senior. Corey Gray, defensive end, senior. Hayden Sumner, center, senior. Ty Thurman, left guard, senior. Ricky Sandoval, right guard, senior. Fisher McElrath, receiver, senior. Wesley Arbro, receiver, senior. Bear Calzada, kicker, senior. Cesar Mura, defensive line, senior. Ashton Blackwell, quarterback, junior. Kareem Page, junior, receiver. Journey Boston, receiver, junior. JJ Robredo, kicker, punter, junior. Bryson Benton, outside linebacker, junior. Brady Penley, DB, junior. Pepe Lara, kicker, junior. Rob Johnson, junior, linebacker. Dragon Torres, receiver, junior. Blake Hammondtree, safety, junior. Bentley Myers, DB, junior. Parker Eicholtz, outside linebacker, junior. Austin Fisher, D-line, junior. Dylan Center, D-line, junior. Isaac Medina, O-line, junior. Isaac Lopez, D-line, um, junior. Brandon Arredondo, linebacker, junior. Grant Halverson, offensive line, junior. Nicholas Cower, offensive line, junior. Charlie Patrick, offensive line. Louise Vargas, O-line, junior. Hezekiah Duncan, offensive line, junior. Rodrigo Pino, O-line, junior. Damien Vitell, tight end, junior. Jair Garcia, receiver, junior. John Frank Patterson, tight end, junior. Tyson Greenway, who running back, sophomore. Max Strauss, outside linebacker, sophomore. Warner Ross, athlete, sophomore. Parker McClurg, quarterback, sophomore. Luke Muncher, wide receiver, sophomore. Rock Woods, Washington, middle linebacker, sophomore. Joshua Fernandez, corner, sophomore. <laughs> Cash Lindsey, running back, sophomore. Senior Washington, 
I sign linebacker, sophomore. All right, Coburn, I sign linebacker, sophomore. Ethan Evans, free safety, sophomore. Daniel Ramos, linebacker, sophomore. Ashton Tanner, sophomore, corner. Davy Luna, corner, sophomore. Anderson Jackson, sophomore, tight end. Jackson Blackwood, running back, sophomore. Austin Davis, outside linebacker, sophomore. Vir Patel, tackle, sophomore. Andrew Carrillo, O-line, sophomore. Cody Guzman, tackle, sophomore. Giovanni Montalongo, guard, sophomore. Jackson Franks, guard, sophomore. Adrian Hernandez, nose guard, sophomore. Jacob Meza, guard, sophomore. Kevin Murillo, guard, sophomore. Edgar O'Connor, center, sophomore. David Quinones, wide receiver, sophomore. Isu Suru, wide receiver, sophomore. David Brock, defensive end, sophomore. John Ridley, defensive end, sophomore. Jaden Anderson, running back, freshman. Adrian Hernandez, running back, freshman. Zion Williams, wide receiver, freshman. Jacoy Robinson, corner, freshman. Legend Land, quarterback, freshman. Andy Altangano, outside linebacker, freshman. Alex Overby, receiver, freshman. RJ Story, quarterback, freshman. Striker Woods, linebacker, freshman. Bryce Maria, wide receiver, freshman. Christian Dedios, wide receiver, freshman. Yeah, here's Sosa, linebacker, freshman. Elijah Tanner, receiver, freshman. Alex Pimentel, receiver, freshman. Austin Martinez, receiver, freshman. Felipe Miranda, cornerback, freshman. Jackson Bautista, linebacker, freshman. Riley Souther, center, freshman. Brandon Tantia, offensive lineman, freshman. Bennett Phelan, defensive end, freshman. Michael Wynn, guard, freshman. Matty Quintero, defensive end, freshman. Eric Garcia, left guard, freshman. Chandler Cowart, defensive lineman, freshman. Landon Talley, right guard, freshman. Everett Hayes, defensive end, freshman. Jabarion Dixon, right tackle, freshman. Adrian Villa, tight end, freshman.